Hi, good day, folks. My name is Andre Daniels here from the Center for Innovative Education and Communication Technologies. And uh, today's session is about compression conversion. Uh, not just compression conversion, but specifically cutting videos. Uh, I've had plenty of requests of people asking me how do I actually cut up my videos into smaller chunks because it's um, finding it very really difficult to upload and students are finding it hard to download. So uh, I know sometimes you're tempted to want to upload your complete video of an hour, two hours lectures up onto a platform, whether that be Canva or YouTube or any of the um, learning management platforms out there. It's advisable to actually uh, just chunk them up into smaller bits to make it easier for students and learners to access. Um, I'm recording my screen using Mono Snap, so you know, just in case you're wondering. And um, the software I'm going to be using to do the compression or conversion and, and editing, basic editing essentially, is a tool called Audio or rather any video converter. The one that I'm specifically using is an earlier version, which is version 5.9.1.0. And I see it was created in 2017. And the reason I'm making use of that one is um, because I've realized that the the update, updated version um, hasn't have, doesn't have a lot of um, these free features. This one is completely free. And so I um, tend to want to stick to it because it, it works well for me. So I'm going to look for any video converter and there you can see there it is if you don't know where it is on your computer if you haven't installed it before it's a good idea to just kind of go into your search bar punch it in there and uh, the computer will um, bring it up for you so as you can see i've installed an earlier version and the, every time i actually start up my software it will ask me or tell me that there's a newer version available i normally decline because yeah as i said I know what's waiting for me. So as you can see, the interface is not too complicated, hopefully, by my standards. Um, on your left-hand side here, a little arrow at the bottom, you can see all the con conversions and completions you've done before. So if you have a favorite one, you can actually just select it from there. Or sometimes you forget which one you used last. You can always just go back into your history and see which ones you have uh, utilized. Um, my preferred completion setting is the Apple MPEG-4. Now, if you look under this particular menu, there's a whole lot of options available, and sometimes it can be a little bit confusing, and that's why it's always good to make use of your history, just to remember which versions you've um, you've utilized before, which one's the best one. I've basically learned this through trial and error. You can see it's categorized nicely over here, if you want to just export to audio, you can get a selection of only audio formats. You might be familiar with MP3 formats. There's WAV, Windows Media Audio. The one that I'm particularly uh, interested in is the Apple iPhone MP4. It um, gives you a nice file size without any major loss in terms of quality. So that's that there for you. You can, you can add a files from a CD disk and also from a URL. So um, in some cases, if you wanted to download, and not really promoting and encouraging this, but if you wanted to download videos from, from sites like YouTube, some of the online sites, you can just add the URL, and depending on the restrictions or the arrangements with that uh, particular website, you can then download the video that's playing on that particular site. I'm going to add some video. Uh, this is videos that I'm interested in. I'm, and for the sake of time, I'm going to use a short video. The idea is just to show you how I can cut that video up. So this is a video of another demonstration used before and I'm importing it. So there's two ways of adding video. As I've shown, you can, one is to add video through this particular tab. Another one is to simply drag your video onto this particular area over here and the software will, will use it. So in this clip, I'm interested in only the first part I want to cut it up in two halves so I'm going to start here from the beginning and say that's my in point and I want to take it all the way maybe to the midpoint over there so I just pause that and that will be my midpoint and then I say apply so 
what's happened here you can see at the bottom of that particular track it's added another segment so it's a portion of that so I'm going to say thank you I'm happy with that um, I want to duplicate this because I want to clone another one so I'm going to clone that one and there's the same copy of that particular video and I want to edit the, the second part so I'm going to say well I want the video from the till the end those are the markers that set out for you so I can apply and you can see again it's added another segment so those are the original videos and these are the segments I'm happy with that I click on OK and to just make sure that I don't get confused when I export it, I'm going to rename this as segment 1 and segment 2 click OK now you can see these little check marks over there I don't want to export the whole video because that's be way too long so I'm just going to leave those ones unchecked and now when I'm happy and ready you can see here at the bottom you can also say join all files so this is also a nice piece of software if I want to join uh, segments so I can take the various segments and say join them all in the sequence as they appear here on screen I can rearrange them on the screen over here uh, but in this case I'm just interested in cutting up videos into different segments, segment 1 and segment 2. So let's see how that works. I'm going to click on convert and then look back later. There we go. And that's the progress. Just a reminder again, the screen recorder I'm making use of is... Oh, okay, so there it opens up. Here's my segment 2, my segment 1. That I've just exported okay so that's it in a nutshell if I go back here it gives me a little bit of an ad there again but it's been all been exported so it's completed so it's completed so I'm happy with that okay good I hope that was useful give me some feedback and uh, let me know if it helps and works for you